Okay, cool. So now you have created an account successfully. Now you have a 10 digit phone number. 10 digit phone numbers are super cool because they're not like those five digit spammy ones. 10 digit phone number is very personal. And again, marketing is about relationships. It's about building relationships, loving on your people, staying in touch with them, nurturing those relationships, making deposits in those relationships so that when you ask for a withdrawal, i.e. people invest in your program or your course or uh, or you ask people to invest in your program or course or coaching, or you make an offer or something, people say, wow, you've nurtured me so much. I love you and I wanna give you my money. And that's how it works. So when you get on this page, now you have your 10 digit phone number, memorize that phone number, by the way, I know mine. Um, it's just like any other phone number, but you wanna know that off the top of your head. Because when you tell, tell people, and we'll get into automations, we tell people, hey, text this word to this phone number, you want to have that phone number memorized, or you can use a slide if you're doing some kind of presentation, just have it written there. Something important to know when you're here is balance. So $10.97, that's all the balance that I have. I usually keep it pretty minimum because it, you know, $10 goes a long way when it's four cents per message. Uh, it'll take a while. You know, and then you just go to buy credit. Some people have like, I think in the beginning of text magic, when you go on the main page, it says like $80. It's kind of crazy. So when you click here, you're able to just go in, buy whatever credit you want. You can go like $1,000, you can do $10, $20, all the way up to like $10,000 or something crazy, uh, which is madness. Depending on how many messages that you're sending regularly, or if you're doing some big event, online event right now, even an in-person event and you want to broadcast a message or people are sending in those messages and you, you're just, if you're sending a lot of messages, you can, you know, bill yourself uh, accordingly or buy as much credit as you think that you need. But $10 for the average person goes a long way, just so you know. So right now we're going to talk about contacts and lists right here are your contacts, your lists frequently sent. This is your hub. This is where you send all your messages. I like to do text messaging uh, right here through uh, just the desktop. There's also a feature you can download the app and use your phone as well. Uh, but with text magic, with text magic, uh, it's really easy to do it just on the computer. So highly recommend just using the computer. But when you go to contacts, you can come over here and. We have our different contacts here and we have different lists as well. Okay, so those are something here to know is that people just have their phone numbers. Those are just phone numbers, no name there. Um, be respectful, obviously. When you come over to list, this is where you get to add, either add a new person, you want to create a new contact, you can have a spreadsheet, some kind of Google spreadsheet, where let's say you have an event and you're collecting a bunch of people um, and you have some kind of spreadsheet like that, you can actually import the spreadsheet in here with all the names, all that information already set for you. Uh, you do have to manually enter contacts. So what's important is when you broadcast a message, people send a message back uh, or if you're at an event and you say, Hey, like, let's stay in touch, uh, texting this number. If people texted in a number and then you just collected all these different phone numbers, when people just text in, it just shows their phone number as their name. So you want to have their actual name. That way, again, you keep it more personal and you know who you're sending messages to. So you want to make sure that you uh, ask people, send them a text message with all the people that don't have their name actually there then you wanna just send a text message saying, hey, I didn't get your name. What's your what's your first and last name just so I could save it in my phone? Here's, this is me, you know, James Allen, save my number. And it's a text message number, which is your 10 digit phone number. So it's like your phone number, but it's not really your actual phone number. Now, uh, create a new contact, come in here, you gotta add their phone number. Where are they at? Landline, mobile, auto. Uh, you can just keep it auto. You can also attach a list that you want to add this person to. So you can have multiple different lists. These are all these different lists that I have. <clears throat> and then you go first name, company, email. You can keep all that stuff right here, which is super cool. And then just hit save. All right. So with a new list, you want to create a list, a list name. Let's say that you have some 
big event that you're working at or you're hosting some kind of online summit, um, you know, training course, you have new people that are interested in working with you, that's where you just create the, the uh, list name. So you can just say, um, you know, we'll just go next event. It doesn't have to be all caps, but I just do all caps for this stuff. And you can even, you know, put the date there. Uh, make the list private. Contacts will be shared with sub accounts. Default for new contacts. I usually just keep it, make it private, you know, because then it's just it's just that list. Uh, it's not a default. If you did like the master list where it was just everybody who texted into you, no matter what, doesn't matter what list they're on, uh, then you can click make it a default for people. But for now, we'll just keep it there. Then you click save. Now we got this new one. Okay, cool. So here's next event. You go over here. Obviously, there's nobody in it because I just had people, but you can find your list, anything that you want to find lists or create a new list, you just click contacts and you can do all that stuff. And then you can add contacts that you want to add specifically to the next event list. And then you can even send messages straight to that list, which is super cool. Okay. So everybody, let's say you had, you know, 10 people here or a hundred people or a thousand people or however many people, then it says next event. So in the next video, we will go over how to actually send messages.